Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam You're Allah's chosen one What was the thing which motivated you to get out of bed? Was it the Tahajjud Salah? Was it the Fajr Salah? Or was it work? Was it the fact that you had to go to university? Or you had some other chore to do? If it was the fact that you had to wake up for the Fajr Salah, Alhamdulillah. But if it's the fact that you got out of bed because you had to go to work, then we all say, Allah Akbar, Allah is the greatest. But what do your actions affirm to? What do your actions confirm? Is Allah really Akbar in your life? Or is it the fact that you had to go to work? Is it the fact that you had to hide hand in an assignment? Or you had to do some other chore? Because if Allah was really Akbar in your life, if Allah was really the greatest in your life, then what that thing which, uh, which would have motivated you to stand up for the first thing in the morning would have been the Fajr Salah or the Tahajjud Salah. And as believers, we need to think all day long. We say, Allah is Akbar. Allah is the greatest. But our lives testify to the contrary. Everything else is really Akbar in our lives. And you know what they call this? That when you say something with your tongue, which your heart does not testify to, your actions do not testify to really, you know what they call it? They call it hypocrisy. They call it hypocrisy. That you say with your tongue and your actions are contrary to it. So we need to think, what is the thing which is the greatest in our life? We wake up for work, we wake up for work, but we do not wake up for the Fajr Salah, subhanAllah. So we, are, we don't want to upset our boss at work, but we are ready to upset the creator of our boss.